Hey guys, just wanted to give you a very, very quick update on the fact that we are buying Bitcoin right now. Wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the places that we purchase Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum and Cardano and the strategy that we are using. I'm going to give you close to the exact numbers. I don't have them up in front of me, but I just revealed them on stream and going to share you with uh, share with you some of the prices that we just bought in the strategy. So here, here's what we're doing with Bitcoin and crypto right now. We have a lump sum of money. We're breaking up into three um, total investment so that we can ladder into the price. The first tr trade that we got into, if I remember right, it was on stream. I can check. We got into Bitcoin at $18,369. And I believe that was on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, we got in at that price. 50% of those three lump sums goes into Bitcoin. So we got into Bitcoin at that price. We got into Ethereum, wherever it was at the same time, like 1300 and something. Then we got into Cardano. I remember in Cardano, we put the 20% in because a 50-30-20 split put the 20% of the first round of investment in at 37 cents on Cardano. Then yesterday on Wednesday, we put in half of the second third. We got Bitcoin at, I believe it was 16,180, somewhere in that region. Uh, got Ethereum in the low 1100s, and we got Cardano at 33 cents. So half of our total investment is in Bitcoin now and crypto, uh, and we're waiting on the other half, the second part of the third, the second part of the second third, and the third third to invest. If Bitcoin goes down, the second part of the second third will be invested if we drop down to between fourteen and fifteen thousand dollars, we get down to fifteen k. I'll probably go ahead and deploy that. Then the third third, we'd be waiting for twelve to thirteen thousand to drop into Bitcoin. If it went down to nine or ten, we'd probably put a fourth third in and just ladder in even more and uh, come up with some more capital for that. But I want to tell you just a couple things. First of all, have a strategy. Second of all, realize that it's a strategy and it's not a mandate. I didn't plan when we first did this to put in only half of the second third. That was something I decided on the fly because I've done this for a long time and I thought it would be a good option because I wanted to keep some more capital on the side because it wasn't quite to my price uh, zone of 15K, but it was close enough, so we got a pretty good investment that I'm happy with. Second of all, realize that if you're doing a strategy like this, you're going to want to hold the um, asset that you're in for quite some time because Bitcoin's probably not going to be at 30, 40,000 for another year or so. If you want more information on that, make sure to watch today's stream. And also remember not to invest more than you can afford to lose. One of the main reasons Bitcoin is dropping in the first place is because of over leveraged, undercapitalized companies and traders that are getting liquidated and le and uh, uh, liquidated right now. There's been billions of dollars of long liquidations going on on the markets over the last couple of days, including FTX themselves going under because they were not collateralized well, and they lost a lot of value in their collateralization. They weren't, a li they weren't liquid. Binance backed out of the deal. They're probably going to go insolvent. So don't do like them and invest money that you can't afford to lose. As I've always told you, this is a tried and true strategy. If you cannot afford to take the money into the backyard, set it on fire, burn it, never see it again, and man manage to afford all of your bills, whether you're a company or an individual, you shouldn't be investing it. I normally say, how much can you afford to lose? Invest only half of that. Keep the rest of it in cash because one, you never know if it's going to go so low that you just want to grab that at a great discount. Like Bitcoin went to 7K or something, then obviously I'd want to dump money into that. You want some on the sidelines. But two, you also never know when you're going to need cash and you're going to need a runway to make sure that you're solvent. Don't overinvest. I know you're excited about the drop. If you're not excited about the drop, you should be. Go watch the stream if you need reasons to be because I think you're going to see 100K Bitcoin, $10,000 Ethereum, $5 Ethereum uh, Cardano within the next five years, three to five years. So you should be excited about the fact that we're dropping here, but don't get so overexcited that you overinvest and then you're not collateralized well and you get liquidated um, because you have to sell your cryptocurrency at a very low price to cover your bills because you invested more than you're willing to lose and you go the direction of Sam Bankman-Fried and FTX because you're trying to compete with the Joneses like FTX was trying to do with Binance. Don't do it. It's a bad decision. So that's our strategy for investing in Bitcoin right now. What's yours? Tell us in the description box uh, in the in the, uh, in the comments down below. Are you investing in Bitcoin and crypto? What cryptos? What's your strategy? Don't get into the numbers. That doesn't have to... Don't get into the, the dollar amount that you're putting in. You don't have to do that, but you can tell us down below what you're doing if you're interested. That's my strategy. What's yours? Peace.